up, welcome back to the channel. My name is Simon Savita, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to put chords over a melody. But before we get into it, please watch this short video. This video is brought to you by Melodics. Melodics is a desktop app that teaches you how to play the piano. All you need is a MIDI controller. Not only is this app great for learning to play piano, it's also a great tool to help you understand music theory along the way. After playing a few lessons, not only will it improve your piano playing skills, but it will also give you a lot of ideas for new bass lines, chord progressions, and melodies. And once you know how to play the piano, a lot of opportunities open up to you as a producer. For example, your workflow is going to be much faster, you can start incorporating this new skill at live shows, you will no longer need to rely on a session musician, or you could be that session musician. The possibilities are endless. Here I'm playing one of the lessons, I'm doing one of the harder difficulties because I'm nice with the keys. The interface overall is really good and it kind of just feels like I'm playing a game. If you want this app, all you have to do is click the first link in the description, it is free to download. Uh, I hear something in my head, let's make a quick melody. So like a 150. This is off the top, by the way. No, no rins, no rins in here. Perfect. By the way, before you learn this, you should have a good understanding of your scales first. So the first thing we should figure out is how many chords we want and where we want the chord changes to be. Because some people might just put one chord over this, some people might put five. So I'm gonna listen to this really quick. Okay, I already hear it. So I want chord, chord, chord. So I want three chords in total. It's gonna be one right here, one right here, and one right here. So now that we know where the chords are, we can start grouping them together. So this first chord goes from here to here. And now we have these. Now if you look closely, we actually have an A major chord, like that. And the reason we ignore this B right now is because it's kind of just like a passing note. It's a vehicle to get to the C. So it's not that important. So let's move on to the second one. It looks like it goes from here to here. And if we look closely, uh oh, looks like we only have one note. And this C looks like a passing note. So we really only have this B. So here is a trick to use when you only have one note. In every basic major or minor chord, there's always a root a third and a fifth. And also every note in the scale can be a root, third or fifth. For example, if we have the note G, it is the fifth in C major, it's also the root in G major, and it's the third in E minor. So with that being said, even though we have one note in the melody, there's actually three possibilities for chords. So now that we know that, it looks like we have three options. And the best way to choose which one is good is just through trial and error. So the first one, let's make it a G major, see how that sounds. And it's better to hear it in the full context. That's not bad. Let's try an E minor, we're gonna raise this a bit. That's not bad either. They're all gonna sound pretty good because they are sharing this B, so it's pretty much a matter of choosing your favorite. And the last chord we have is the B diminished. Um, I think I like that one because I'm going for something darker. And the last chord we have is right here. Let's take a look. It looks like we have an E and a G, so we can do an E minor or a C major. So let's take a listen to both. Nope, see I didn't want that happy stuff. So now we're gonna move it here and this should work. Okay, let's do one more melody to seal the deal. Let's get something different. Let's do something down tempo to change it up a bit. Right there, okay, looks like we got it. So let's figure out where the chord changes are. I think I just want it every bar, just like this. So we're gonna have four chords in total. So the first one looks pretty easy. Let's take a look. It looks like just a regular C minor chord. Okay, so next chord. It looks like we're pretty limited on notes in this one as well. 
This C looks like a passing tone, so we really only have this D. So first option we have is a D diminished. Not bad. Uh, we have a G minor. I like that. Last one we have is a B flat major. Uh, I like the G minor the best. Next chord, we have a few notes. Let's take a look. It looks like we have an A flat major here. Right now, I'm just teaching you guys the basics, but once you have a better understanding of chords, a lot more options open up to you. So for example, this is an A flat major. But since I know my chords a bit, I know that if I put an F down here, we're gonna make an F minor seven, and I think that sounds a lot better. Last chord is here. It looks like we have another G minor, but since this is the cadence, let's make it a major. Okay, let's listen to the whole thing. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see another tutorial like this, make sure you comment it below. And I'll see you guys soon. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Get out of here.